Let us evaluate double integral 0 to 1, x to 1, sine y squared dy dx. So as you can see, d is defined as the set of points. X is bounded between two fixed values, 0 and 1, but my y is bounded between two functions. Let us try to solve this double integral first. Is it easy to solve this double integral? 0 to 1, x to 1, sine of y squared dy dx. So it means that first we have to find the inner integral, which is with respect to y. Well, to find this inner integral with respect to y, you might say that, hey, I'm going to use u sub u is equal to y squared, du is 2y dy. Well, I don't see any y here. So u sub doesn't work. Okay. Since u sub doesn't work, it means that I have to apply other methods. Or we can switch the boundaries. But how? Now I'm going to find values, fixed values for y and find boundaries for x. So fixed values for y and find boundaries for x. So what are these? Let us graph this. What's the graph like? It says, hey, initially my x is bounded between 0 and 1. And my y is bounded initially by x and 1. y is equal to x, which is here. And my y is equal to 1, which is just right here. So the boundaries give me this region. All right. Well, I'm going to switch these the way that now y is bounded between two fixed values i had dx as the outer integral now i'm going to switch these the way that y becomes the outer integral so obviously from the graph my y is bounded between zero and one okay this is obvious i didn't have too much algebra to do what about my x x from left is bounded by this line, this vertical line, which is zero. And from right-hand side, my x is bounded by y. Very well. So this integral now can be written as the integral zero to one dy, and the inner integral is zero to y dx and i'm going to copy down my function my ceiling sine of y squared now i'm going to take the inner integral with respect to x with respect to x sine of y squared is just a numerical value so i'm going to copy this down this is the integral zero to one sine y squared but the integral zero to y of dx is x as x is bounded between zero and y y minus zero or y that's how we get this y next to sine of y squared and you have dy as the integral with respect to y but computing this integral is easy for you why is that it's just u equals to y squared du is 2y dy so here you have 2y and a half you have a half integral sine u du which is a half negative, a half cosine of u, u is y squared. Here you have zero to one. So you have negative a half and you have cosine of one minus cosine of zero, which is negative a half cosine one minus one, which is one minus cosine one divided by two. You can use a calculator, to get an approximation, but you can, um, leave it as it is this is the value of this double integral we started by trying to find the integral with respect to y then with respect to x u sub didn't work so we said hey let us switch the boundaries the original boundary x plus one bounded between zero and one y was bounded between x and one we switched it to zero and one for y 
and for x bounded between 0 and y. And then it was easier to do the computation. But again, this integral is um, computable. We can apply other methods like integration by parts and do the computations here.